on the Stu Jameson Radio Network. You're saying some really weird things. Could I talk to somebody else? I went to the uh, Bologna Jackson Beauty Academy. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, you are a thing of beauty. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to all my bitches. Is that true? You went to some beauty academy or some shit? That's right, the Felona Jackson Beauty Academy. Well, I, that that, that seems awful strange to me. Ain't nothing strange. I'm, I'm a man of many talents. I, I, I just can't picture a big 350-pound hairy man doing Beauty Academy stuff. Well, well, I, I didn't do it for that. Well, 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 what what what'd you go to school I, there for? I went there to meet the bitches. Oh. There you go. Oh. That's, that's right. <sighs> anyway, listen, we got a lot of uh, stuff to talk about. Got a, a brand new, well, actually, an old prank call that never been played before. Gonna, gonna play that. Really? That's right. Oh. And we got to talk about the news. Got to talk about uh, the, the, uh, Al-Qaeda and ISIS and all this shit, blowing shit up in Paris. Yeah, the, these guys, they're crazy. They, they, they shoot up a place or they, did they blow themselves up? But what, what do they get out of it? Where'd they go out and do their thing? And if they kick the bucket, they get uh, 69 bitches. You, you, you mean like, like like naked women? There you go. There you go. Wow. There's 69 of them. Six, 69 of the hottest wow. bitches you could ever find. What? But wait a minute, if you're dad, how do you get at them women? You know, that's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. Yeah, and, and tell me, what, what other religion is you going to find something better than that, a better deal than that? Well, yeah, you got a point there. And actually, I was uh, doing a motherfucking segue into something else here. Actually, there, there is something better. Oh. There uh, is something better. You, 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 you mean a, a religion that gives you more than 69 I, naked women? I, I seen this on TV. It's for real. Oh. You make a wish and you get whatever you want. And you, and you, you have to blow yourself up? No, no, don't have to do none of that. I, I seen this on TV. His name is Peter Popoff. Peter Popoff? Peter Popoff. I seen this cat on TV. Most people, they get money. Some oh. people, they, they get, you know, they get healed. But I think you you get, you wish for whatever you want, and he make it come true. All, really? all you got to do is help this brother out with some money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I seen this cat on TV. I ain't jiving. I ain't shitting you. This is the real deal. <laughs> you know, you can, you can laugh all you want, but I have right here in this envelope, I ordered some of this miracle of spring water. Spring you, you take water. this stuff, you use this stuff. Well, first of all, you make a wish. You make a wish. And then you use this stuff, and then you, I think you're supposed to send Peter some money, and then your wish come true. Uh, whatever, whatever. You, you, you know, y'all can laugh all you want, but I seen this on TV. I told you, you the people, fine. you know, five, again, they're getting checks in the mail, $5,000, $10,000. Uh, right, what, what, what we got to do here, then? Uh, all right, well, before we use this natural spring water here, you got to make a wish. Uh, all right, then uh, I want a, a hundred, a hundred. 169 women's. What? 169. That's boy, what I want. Boy, your noodle gonna fall off. Bring when it you on. Get 169 bitches. Bring them on. And don't you want to wish to get out your wheelchair? You don't want to wish for that. Uh, Cause y'all can wish for whatever you want. You want to uh, get healed. Y'all want to get uh, some cash money, or you want to get some some bitches. Whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, I'll take I'll take the women. You want the women? Give me the women. All right, you get the bitches then. Well, I'm gonna decide. I, I want to I want to win the lottery. That's my choice. Oh, so the lottery. Uh, so with no further ado, here's some natural spring water for me, and here's a little packet of spring water for you. <laughs> and on your mark, get set. Open it here. And go. Ha, ha, ha.
How about, how about, how about, what? Did you just... Uh, what are you looking at me for? You just drank this shit. Well, of course. Man, you dumbass, you ain't supposed to drink this shit. You're supposed to sprinkle it on your head. What? Man, what the hell is wrong with you? Sprinkle it on my head. You what the hell? Stupid ass, stupid you know, ass. You know what? Forget this. I don't care You're about this fine. crap. Anyway. Too bad, too bad. That's too bad. I'm gonna win it's the lottery. You ain't gonna get no, no bitches. You get nothing. I don't care. You get nothing. I, it's, it's all a bunch I, of malarkey. It is, it is not malarkey. I seen it on TV. I did not told uh, you one time. Bunch of hogwash. Hey, That's hey, all. Hey. Chill out, dude. You never know. He might be right, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, Peter Popoff, I seen it on TV with my own two eyes. Yeah, whatever. Well, what what else we got to talk about? Let's All move right. on. Uh, what else? Okay, uh, this uh, this new thing, though, and, uh, what you call it? The fast food employees in Los Angeles, they want to start making $15 an hour. And this, this is a great thing because it's going to eliminate having to go to school. It, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, wh whoever thought of this one is a genius because, you know, I was thinking about going to school to... Uh, learn how to repair washing machines. Yeah. But that would have taken uh, like a year to a year and a half. Oh. And you have to read books and all that crap. Exactly. Exactly. And, and so it takes well, half a day to learn how to do fast food. Yeah. And that's better than going to school for a year or two to earn the same amount of pay. So, so much easier. Yeah. So much easier. Yeah. Instead of going to school, I can stay home and play video games. And there then you about, go. In about a year, then I'll start start working my fast food career there you go dog there you Damn go straight anyway so we go what else we got here uh li listener question oh, oh yeah 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 all right uh here we go here we go uh delrod from oakland want to know aside from your prank calls what's your favorite prank calls out there okay and th th this, this dude also want to know what? what y'all motherfuckers think about this show, Hardcore Pond, on True oh, TV? phony as fuck. That's right, phony. that's right. You guys are phony as fuck. This is phony as fuck. These people start arguing about shit, yeah. and then they got the bouncer dragging these bitches out the store. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of is them calls we recorded uh, after the last album to, oh. to, to spread around on the internet. Oh. Play, play, play one of them calls. Play a clip of that bullshit we put out. I'm just finishing up my business in here. Get this, uh, boy, somebody, somebody really shit up the place in here, and it might have been me. Excuse me? Yeah, you recorded this one with Stu, didn't you? Yeah, this is one of them calls I, I wanted to do a real call like this and never got around to doing it, so. Yeah, so all right, that's what we think about that show. Yeah. Now, what else? Uh, like prank calls. So, oh, yeah. favorite prank calls, I say the Dimension Cable calls. Dimension, yeah, inbound. And then this inbound. guy Jack Stratus on the internet. YouTube. On YouTube. Then there's this girl that does girly calls, uh, Jill Stratus. Jill Strith. Uh, Jill Strith. I, I don't like uh, girly calls. I like angry calls. Well, I, me too. But I just like to stare at her. Well, then, then you watching her video for the wrong reason then. She looked like a young Terry Hatcher. Yeah, and she about half your damn age. Listen, <laughs> dog, I want to move on to this uh, prank call, this old prank call oh, that I, I want to play. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh, this, this is an old Old call, old call. What was, what was the name of this one? Uh, Dennis Electric. Let, let, oh, me, let, I me, talk, let me talk to Dennis. Tell Dennis, no, tell him it's Junkyard Woody. He know me. Let me talk to Dennis. You, you, I ain't dyslexic. I always call the right number every time. I know I got the right number. Wait a Let minute. What? Talk where's this? Is just you talk talking? What the hell is it's this? It's just me. This because they ain't. I ain't got a release form for the woman that was on the phone. You ain't got a. Then what's the point of playing? I this? was hoping that somebody might recognize this conservation and say, "Oh, that was me," or oh, "That was my mama." And she want to sign release now. Oh, for crying out, cornflakes. You think I'll get shocked if I touch the breaker? Oh, yeah. Should I put a hubcap on my head? If I put a hubcap on my head, I won't get shocked. 
I got the metal work good with electricity. I mean, yeah, this is pointless. Nope. This is pointless. No, it ain't. I'm trying to. We're trying to find this this woman to uh, sign release. You guys are fucked up. Sh- <laughs> shut up. I do what I want to do. She gave it. you a hard time. Hey, baby. baby. Hey, baby. I feel you. I feel you. But I ain't gonna be here. I'm gonna be on a bus to the state penitentiary. Hey, she, she didn't even care that she yelling at a convict. I mean, hey, she yelled at you too, dog. Hey, she wasn't playing around with nobody. Ask me what a plunger is. You guys are fucked up. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of plungers, uh, the saint of sewage, yours truly, I got I got some new video on YouTube uh, explaining to people how to unclog a toilet, you know, proper proper use of a plunger. Yeah, you know, why Why does everything have to be about toilets for you? It, it, it ain't just about toilets. I, I, do every, I do it all. I do gynecology. Oh, that, that's it's right. all kind of the same thing. You both profession, y'all need rubber gloves. Doctors need rubber gloves too. That's right. I'm talking to the gynecologist to the stars. Okay. All right. I, I still can't believe you prescribulate with monostat seven and all that stuff to people. You, you don't have a medical degree. Uh, all I'm doing is prescribulate uh, monostat seven and uh, gonadotrim and all that. It ain't. We we not talking about propofol or nothing. The little itty bitty uh, mini trial size uh, gonadotrim. In, in a box. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> got a Lotrimin and you don't have a medical degree. I got the connections and it's all about the Benjamins. And, and the other thing, you're releasing private information about your your patients, you know, like Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee, that's right. No confidentiality. I don't care. I don't care. It'd no. probably be Kathy. Kathy oh, 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 she came in one time with a yeast infection. <laughs> That's just shocking. Next time she comes in, I go out on, on vacation. I get the hell out of there. I go down to Elsa Gunner or something. <laughs> That's the other thing. Most doctors, they go on vacation to the Bahamas or Vegas, not El Segundo. El Segundo, beautiful. What crap place I, is that? I, I love El Segundo. I love El Segundo. Uh, well, the whole thing seems awful fishy to me. Man, I don't care. It's all about the Benjamins. What else uh, what, what we got in the news? Well, the New England Patriots being accused of underinflating their balls. Well, what do you think about that? I, I think if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. It's all about the Benjamins. Yeah, I think Tom Brady and Belichick, they're, they're getting ready to retire, so they don't care if they get caught. Y- if y'all can make it to the Super Bowl one more time, you want to uh, suspend me next season, I don't I don't care. I'm going to retire anyway. It's like you uh, practicing medicine. And even though you ain't a doctor. There you go. They want to shut my ass down. I, I already got my hubcap business. You got nothing to lose. Damn right. Well, listen, uh, we're going to uh, end the show early today because uh, there's a snowstorm on the East Coast. Well, that don't affect us. We're in California. Well, you won't get off early, don't you? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that, we, That's yeah right. we, you never know. That's right. We might get all stuck right, in right. some snow, you never yeah, yeah, know. Yeah, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, let's go to the commercial break. We done, we out of here. On the Junkyard Willie and Jim Bob radio show. Y'all need to buy some hubcats? Uh, hey, man, I'm always in the market for some good hubcats. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm always in the market. <laughs> 